Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Moon River by Blue Orange Games. This is a two to four player board game that takes roughly 45 minutes to play and is for ages eight and up. And in the game, Moon River, you are playing as cowboys or rancheros, and you are attempting to create domino pieces and put them together and create little locations. They could have farms or fields or kind of deserty areas, and they are going to go onto your board. They're gonna fill up this area here, whether it be a five by five for the three to five, four player game, or whether it be a five by 10 for the two player game, up until which is all complete. And when basically there are no more tiles left, you'll score your points. You'll check to see how many cows you have on the different areas that connect to the same type of area. And you're also gonna check your different types of rancheros to see if you've scored bonus points for all the different symbols symbols on your board, and whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. It plays kind of like Queen Domino and King Domino with a little bit more of a kick to it. Let's go ahead and talk about the setup, my, you know, how to play, and then of course the review. To set up the game Moon River, it's actually quite simple. The first thing you'll do is you'll give every single player one of these boards here. If you are playing the base game, the simplistic ver version of the game, you'll take the side with the three different little, I guess they're called decks or docks that cross over the river and place it in front of that player. Um, if you wanna play the more complex version, you can flip it over and you'll see the character there and that will change how the game is played. And you'll put it down in front of each player. Then you'll take all the cows and put them within reach of all players. Next, you'll take the main board, or the small main board, I should say, and you will take five of the different rancheros and you'll flip them face up. So they're going to be blue sides and red sides. The rest of them, keep them face down and put them somewhere next to the board here. Take out four tiles from the box here. If you uh, check with the box, just like in the other types of domino games, you'll make sure that all the different tiles are facing the same side and that they are not visible and they will be left in the box. You'll just take four out from the box and place them from the lowest number to highest number going down along the main game board here. Once you have done that, you will take the last two tiles in the game. These are the uh, wild tiles. They have a front and a back to them and put them within reach as well. After, you'll flip over the main tiles of the game and you will begin by selecting a player to go first. And that's pretty much the setup for the game. Playing the game is fairly simple. Once you have these tiles flipped over, the first player will start by taking one of their rancheros and placing it anywhere on any of these half domino tile pieces. Uh, the higher ones are typically going to be, or the ones that have the lower number, typically gonna be less value. And the lower ones are gonna be higher value, which means that the farms and the forests are usually better and usually the plains and the deserts are worse. Uh, but they'll give you a higher order in the turn for the next round. So I can place my character on this one here, and then this player could place theirs here, and then this player would go and place theirs, and this one would place theirs. And you basically go back and forth placing your pieces onto the different domino pieces. Then from the game box, you're gonna go ahead and pull out four tiles, and then you're going to organize them based on their lowest to highest, from the top to bottom. And then you can go ahead and flip these over. After that, then you're going to go in play order, which is based on how people place their rancheros out. The purple player has the first two, so the purple player is gonna go first. They'll take off their ranchero, they'll take their tile and put it in one of their squares. They'll take their ranchero, they will then choose a new tile and place their ranchero there. And then they'll rinse and repeat. They'll take another tile, and then once again, choose a new spot. This player isn't gonna get a chance to go. They'll take their ranchero, place their tile, and then place him down. And once again, rinse and repeat as well. Take him off, take the piece, and place. Now, whenever you have two tiles, or three, and you would like to attach them together, provided that you can, you may. And then you may place them on your game board. Uh, the rule of thumb is, if you want to place tiles on your game board, the tiles must connect to one of your three different little bridge areas. If you want to connect a tile to something that is not a bridge area, at least one of the tiles must be the same as another tile it's being connected to. At the very beginning of the game though, however, you're only gonna to get to select from these three locations. You may select them to go vertically or horizontally, as long as you make sure that your grid is no larger than five by five for a three or four player game, or five by 10 for a two player game. So I'll go ahead and select that and place that just like that inside here. When you place tiles down, you'll have to check them to see if they do anything. In most cases, you're gonna get a little cow, which you'll place on the tiles. Sometimes they might come with beavers or gold 
or they might come with corn. Those are additional victory points at the end of the game for each of the different symbols on your game board. And there are ranchero spaces that have a circle on them that if you place them on there, you will gain bonuses for whatever that ranchero says. Typically it'll be plus one for every gold you have or plus one for every beaver, so on and so forth. And sometimes you'll find some red guys. These are like the banditos. These guys will actually do something nasty to your opponent. Maybe take a cow that is not being protected by one of their rancheros in one of their areas, or maybe take a piece and switch it with one of yours. Anyway, after all of these have been taken and players have chosen to attach their pieces together as dominoes um, and then place them on their board if possible, then all of the previous ones are gonna slide over and four new ones are gonna come out of the box here and be placed once again. You're gonna go ahead and go four, 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 and a six. Okay, so this is the order. And then you will flip them over and then rinsing and repeating, you will once again check to see the turn order. It's gonna be green, purple, purple, green. So green is going to go taking one of these, placing it, then purple's going to go taking one of these and placing it down, I'll go here. Um, Note, if you have three tiles on your game board and you are unlucky enough to actually get a left and a right hand side domino piece so that you can connect them together, you're actually going to have to discard two. And when you discard them, they're going to go away. However, if you do have the pieces, you must play them. So you have to be aware of how you combine your pieces. Take the pieces, slide them down onto the board in some way so that you can now afford to place them down on your board. And that's how the game works. You just keep going back and forth up until there are no more tiles left in the box. One other thing to note too is once you get to the very end of your game board, so in a two player game, once you get to that five by 10th position, the 10th position all the way to the very end, you'll take one of these wild pieces here. These are going to give you a free ranchero and you can go ahead and place it on your game board. Additionally to note is if you ever take these guys, at the end of the round is when the board is gonna fill up with new ones. And lastly but not least, if you do not want to use any of these rancheros or banditos, you can choose to flip that guy over and place it face down on the circle. That will let you move your cows on your game board up to three spaces, any number of cows, but a total of only three spaces. And the reason you're gonna to wanna to do that is because scoring is going to matter with those cows. Now, uh, that's what we'll explain is how scoring works. At the end of the game, you are going to score points based on each of your locations and all of the cows present on them. So for instance, if this character here had, let's say that he had this, let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these like this even if they're not technically correct as to how you place them. But if this was my board at the end of the game and I had like these forests here and I had this corn, I would score one point for every beaver and every piece of corn. And, and if you look on your little cheat sheet here, it tells you how it works. Um, so the first thing it asks you is cows times how many locations. So if I have a cow on a wheat field um, and that wheat field is connected to six other wheat fields, that would be six wheat fields times one cow. That's gonna score me six points for the uh, yellow area, the farm area, or the, the, the farmland area. However, cows can never go on these spaces. So I'm kind of a bad example, but any other location. So if it was, I don't know, the green area here and I had a cow, that would be two times one. Or let's say I had two cows, that would be two times two. You can never have more than one cow um, on a space at the end of the game. Uh, otherwise it will not count. They have to be in separate locations. And they can score on any of these main five, the desert areas, the mountainous, the plains, the forests, and of course the farms. Then you're gonna score points, one point for every piece of corn, every single piece of gold, every beaver. Um, and then you're going to score for your rancheros. Uh, these are these pieces here, the plus one for every beaver, plus one for every corn, plus one for every gold, etc., etc. But these must be placed on locations face up uh, on your game board. And they can work anywhere and they count towards anywhere. And you'll add all these points up and you will score based on how much you've gotten. And whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. And that's basically the idea of Blue River, or Moon River, <laughs> Blue River, uh, Moon River. It's very similar to King or Queen Domino in the sense of tile placement, but now you're making the tiles and you're creating a grid uh, on this main game board of yours. That's the game, let's talk about my review. 
So like I said, Moon River is basically a king slash queen domino style game in which you are taking tiles, you are putting them together to form dominoes, and you are placing them down on locations. Uh, there are certain placement rules which must be abided by. You're always going to have to make sure that whenever you place stuff down, I'm just gonna go ahead and put stuff like this. If I wanted to, if I had a domino tile that had like a connection with a yellow and a brown one, I'd have to connect this to either the brown, since there's no brown on the board here, it'd have to connect to a bridge of mine, or because I have this yellow, I can go ahead and connect it to any area that has a yellow, thusly giving me a new location that I can open up um, to allow me to start playing on farm areas. And yeah, just to note, just always note that because that, it's very, very important. Another thing to note too is if you have a piece uh, that is connected as a domino and the, your board is, is filled, you must play. Otherwise, you must discard too, which can lead to some negative interactions if you're not careful based on placement, because turn placement matters. You always have to place going from top to bottom. Um, also note to remember, cows can never go on these field areas here. I guess they eat too much corn, so cows can't go on there. They're going to go on every other space, though, and they are probably one of the main ways to score in the game. You have the three main ways to score, which is cows times number of areas that are connected of the same type. Then you have the three different types of scoring points, which is going to be the gold, beavers, and corn. And then you have your rancheros, which are basically bonus points. You can basically double up on victory points when you gather these. When you find tiles with circles on them, the moment you get these guys, you'll be taking one of these guys, and at the end of the round, this board is going to fill up. Moon River is a game of not only tile placement and domino construction, but it's based on turn sequences. You have to be aware of when you want to select what piece, and you have to be aware of what is already currently present on your game board. If you're not super certain uh, what you're gonna get next, you have to kind of prepare for that, because sometimes you might get four new pieces that are all going the same way. And any player not playing tiles is a player not scoring points most of the time. There are certain instances as well where you actually don't want to play tiles because there are some nasty tiles in the game. There's one other one I didn't mention, which is actually one that has this symbol here. This is basically a drought symbol. It looks kind of like a, uh, a bull skull. Whenever this gets attached to the same type of terrain, like for instance, if it is this uh, pinkish orange looking uh, color here and it's attached to one of my orange areas, the mountainous areas, and I have cows there, I will lose one cow when this is connected for every single time I play a skull on that area. So these can be quite nasty. So sometimes it's better to discard these guys if you can't utilize them in a way that allows you to connect with them in the future. So making sure that you future connect is important too. If I have orange pieces here with tons of cows and I wanna add another orange piece that I have, which has a drought, I'd probably place that here. And then eventually I'd put two oranges in the middle that give me cows and now I've connected all of them together. So there's unique little puzzling ways and mechanics that you can go ahead and do so. Bit of pusher luck evolved in the game, not knowing what is gonna come up next and whether or not you're going to be able to connect those pieces, but it's a nice, nice way to play that can actually score you additional bonus points if you're careful in the game. Uh, the bonuses are kind of nice too. Once you fill out your board, you're basically gonna get one of these guys and you'll choose the side and place it down and it'll give you bonus scoring points. These guys can come in really, really handy. And the other main thing I'd like to mention is that the sixes, these little six tiles here, these are the most powerful and by far. This is a five point piece. It has five corn on it. Yes, you may not be able to score points for the cows on these guys here, but you will score points um, for each of these pieces here. And if you have any corn multipliers, they can score a ton of points. They are a way to secure a lot of points in the game Moon, uh, Moon River. This is a fun game. I love King Domino and Queen Domino. I think they're really good for kids. I think they're kind of a nice like tile placement strategy type game that's simple and fun. This brings a little bit more meat to the bone. This adds a little bit more of a complex decision, but all with the same kind of rules and base set of those games. If you've played those before and you jump into this, this will not be that much more difficult. They're gonna basically kind of catch on. But there's gonna be definitely more complexity and more challenges and more variety in what you can do and how you can place. I love the cows. I love placing the pieces together. That It feels good to do so. It also feels great to be able to move my pieces around and secure the most points. There are some nasty little characters here that kind of make the game a little bit less solitary other than just the picking of the, of the pieces where you can steal pieces from your opponent or you can steal cows that are not defended by rancheros or you know banditos. When you place your banditos 
on specific areas on your game board, it'll protect those areas. Any green area that has a ranch arrow is gonna be protected. All their cows can't be touched, but any ones that are, don't have a, a character that protects them, you can steal. And that can seriously let you lose some negative points. Typically with me and Cali, when we play ourselves, we don't usually use those pieces all that much. We'll flip them over and move our cows because moving cows can give us a lot of points without actually annoying the other players so much. But for those of you more competitive players, you'll enjoy that. The quality of the game, excellent. All the tile pieces are nice and thick and vibrant and beautiful and work really well together. And when you place them down, you're gonna see that it looks like you got a full on farmland going on with all your different characters protecting the different cows. Um, all of the different pieces of art are nice as well. It's kind of like a mix of like cartoony and a mix of like classic, which is a fun little way of putting it together. And overall, it's a fun game. This is a high quality, really well done game that works for families. And it's a way to kind of one up or increase your complexity level if you enjoy these type of blue orange games. Moon River is a solid keep. I'm going to actually be using this game more than I'll be playing King Domino and Queen Domino for my friends group. But I will keep those games around for when even younger kids come by. But overall, this kills those other games and I seriously enjoy it quite a lot. So yes, on my shelf it will go. Thank you guys for watching with our Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Moon River. If you're interested in picking it up, there's a link down below in the description by Blue Orange Games where you can go ahead and check out the game. You can also go check out our website unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Don't forget to also check out our live streams. We played this game yesterday, um, Sunday nights at 6.30 p.m. PST, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. And on Wednesdays, every other Wednesday, we are on Whatnot at the same time showing you games. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. If you think we've earned your subscription, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the bell notification button. We greatly appreciate it. And thank you so much. I look forward to becoming a ranchero and dominating you with my cattle locations next time.